Um, listen, he tested positive, he being Oscar Valdez, uh, for fentamine. From what I understand, I caught a few people up just to know we were going to talk about this and medical people. And he tested positive for that. That's a central nervous stimulant. Uh, and it's used for weight loss. Um, of course, his team says it came from herbal tea. But first, first, let me just deal with that. Who cares where the hell it came from? <laughs> because it might be from herbal tea, and that's a big might. As it's supposed to suggest it's okay, it's harmless, but it's still a banned substance. I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, these people, they they just crack you up. I mean, it's a banned substance. It's banned for a reason. The WBC now is saying it's okay. It's not doing anything. And they're letting the fight go on. Why would you ban it then? I mean, why do you got these rules? I mean, if, if you're not going to uphold the ban and suspend them, because why? It depends on who's caught doing it? I mean, let's get to the nitty-gritty. I mean, Eddie Reynoso, and I didn't come here to, I came here to put facts out, that's all. Eddie Reynoso, I, I don't, I mean, he does a good job as a trainer, yeah, but he he's, he's had now how many fighters? I mean, I know three of them. You got Canelo, you got Valdez, and then you go, you go back and you got Martinez, uh, I think it was Julio Cesar Martinez, and, and maybe there's others, but all right. So the WBC is getting around this by saying they only ban the drug in competition, and the in-competition period only begins on fight day itself. Wow! All right, all on fight day. So you can use a banned substance to help you get ready for the fight as long as you don't use it the day of the fight. But, uh, I have nothing against Reynoso. He's a good trainer. And he's, maybe he's a good guy. I don't know. But all I know is that uh, Canelo tests a positive for banned substance. Um, 2018, he had to postpone the rematch with Golovkin. So that in 2019, WBC flyweight champ Julio Cesar Martinez, also part of Reynoso's gym, tested possible also for the same drug that um, Canelo did. So, and now, of course, we have Valdez. So that's three. I, I mean, I've heard people say there's more. I, I'm not going to say there's more unless I, I can specifically point at who who it is and what does you know what exactly the situation was but i think three is is kind of a lot analy box analizando el box <laughs>